Like I was again uh, just last weekend, I was watching like a German documentary. Uh, I was watching this thing, and uh, it, they they kind of showed how the current ruling part of Germany, SPD, has so many members not on wealth with Russia, taking Russian money and stuff. And if that's the status we live in, then it all everything makes sense, right? So it's not a political party. Every time there was someone that wanted to shake up this political system and make it fair, they were ended up with a bullet in their head. So out of the get go, I could I think say five proven things why the spd is corrupt as fuck man for example the current uh, uh foreign advisor of scholz is massively involved for 20 years now uh, with russia katalina bale said in the europe election there will be no article 14 with her the moment she got voted she said yes to it also in the contract of the great coalition from five years ago it stated article 13 will never ever happen upload filters will never happen with the spd which instantly happened afterwards because they wanted to make a deal with france so france approves Nord stream 2 Nobody fucking knows, talks about this, right? The Germans were pressuring France into accepting Nord Stream 2. Uh, Manuela Schwesig, the minister of uh, Schleswig-Holstein, massively using weird ways with like her own foundation and, and donations to save Nord Stream 2. Just hundreds of uh, examples of corrupt politicians in, in Germany, right? Which is one of the least corrupt countries. And if, if, if this is the world we live in, then it's no wonder people like Putin think they can do what they want. That's politics, it's all about deal makings. Sure, I get that, but you can still decide what kind of deal you do. Every deal is a deal with the devil, but how big is that devil? If you're a CDU politician of the Black Party of Germany, and you go to Azerbaijan to a dictator and take his money to make uh, commercials in Germany, I don't know if that's a deal that really is... And it all comes down to, and I don't even blame politicians, to greed, right? You want to make money on the side. I get it. I would probably do the same. And that's why... A Western democratic politician can only function if he's not allowed to have any side income. That's what I believe in. Uh, they make enough money, they make 10k and more and stuff. We would have to find a system that politicians and the rest cannot make money on the side anymore. Also, then the greedy people jump out. Uh, I want to be a millionaire. I'm not going to fucking be a politician anymore. Everyone you get people that actually give a shit. Some... What well, politicians are going to vote for a proposal like that? Yeah, it's all fucked. And that's why, look, I get a lot of shit from Germans in chat that I vote for the Green Party. But in, I think it is factual if you sit down and read that if you look at the stats, the Green Party in Germany is the least corrupt party. There's a lot of stats showing that, proving that the Green Party is the least corrupt party, man. CDU, SPD, FDP, by far ultra corrupt, left wing party and AfD, massive puppets of Russia, big, big connections to Russia, all proven. And the Green Party is by far the least corrupted, which is why I vote for them. Uh, a Green politician just resigned two weeks ago. Uh, something happened, a mistake, and the person, the, uh, the minister of something, the green, the green one, resigned. No one resigns anymore in the West. Back in the day, you had resigns if someone said uh, former Bundes. President Wolfgang Köhler had to resign because he said Germany is doing economic wars at the Hindu Kush in the Afghanistan war. And that sentence may, may forced him to resign. Nowadays, they, they fuck up billions of taxpayer dollars and don't resign for a second. They don't give a shit anymore. Do you think that it's worrying that the far right increases in Europe? 100% sure, why wouldn't you worry about that? Anyone saying no to that is we fucking retarded. That's an ultra big problem. But the point is that I often believe that the rise of the far right in Europe is also due to the mishappenings and the errors of democratic parties. And that's why I, I'm a guy that believes what the West needs is competent leaders. Democratic, freedom-loving, anti left anti-right leaders with charisma that make good decisions that are not corrupt people that you can rally behind right the problem is that western leaders are often so hated and have such bad charisma and they have so many scandals that no one believes in them and that plays into the hands of the enemies right people vote afd because they're unhappy with the current leadership and stuff and uh, i'm even scared i, I genuinely I'm a, I'm a guy that's not scared a lot man uh, I'm generally scared sometimes looking at social media, looking at you chat sometimes, and some opinions I see, it's it's scary as hell, man. How some people you think, and how how deep already the propaganda is, especially Russian propaganda that was built since the ending of uh, the Cold War, 100%. And how many people, millions of people in the West are fully deep into that propaganda um, machine which which only helps russia man lenin called it legit he called it uh, the doctrines of useful idiots you look for useful idiots in enemy countries like the west and you then influence them to be anti their own country to be pro-russia which happened for decades now you see it now everywhere especially with the 
Putin prepared the Ukraine war for decades, right? And now look at all these idiots that are so deep in the rabbit hole that they can't be saved anymore. That legit scares me, man. And I think we shouldn't be scared. As people that like democracy, we should we should never give up. That's where I think I'm a bit of an idiot. You should never give up on these people. You should always try something. Like my dad, my dad is a big AFD voter, right? My mom used to vote AFD. And I realized, don't just give up, man. Talk to your parents. Try to really talk to them and, and uh, with logic and reason and facts and no bullshit explain why you would think that what they believe in is not very really true and based on false facts just try to explain and maybe if you're lucky man your dad will make a different vote. My dad, my mom, they stopped voting AFD. We made Lisa's dad not vote for CDU because we just sat down with him for hours and talked about factual stuff. I think the moral of the story is you should not give up. You should talk to people, man. Obviously, if you sit down with someone, they're like, the Holocaust never happened, Heil Hitler. Well, maybe then you should talk to them. And that's something that uh, some people in chat gave me shit in the last week so that, that I banned. Uh, some people are saying that I'm not giving a chance to pro-Putin people right now. I think, and here we go to another level, there are certain things you just cannot talk about. There are certain things where you can't talk anymore. If someone denies the Holocaust, if someone is like a flat-out Nazi or communist, if someone is straight up pro-Putin, I think you can talk to them. Trevor Noah, I think his name, he just was at the correspondence dinner of Joe Biden. He had a great speech where he said, it's important that Western people, that we fucking understand how lucky we are for what we have right now. That we can say what we want, that journalists can say what they want without getting fucked over, man. How, how, how blessed we are living the way we live man we're, we're taking it so for granted man and we people go in germany last weekend they go out for pro-russian demonstrations and because they so they're so apathic they have no more love inside their soul because they felt so lost in this society and they don't know how blessed their lives are man you have to stay humble to understand how good our lives are look at fucking ukraine man you're fucking you have to leave your house and leave your country man and uh, maybe your husband has to stay. You never know if you see him again. Does anyone even think about this shit? Yeah, I, I also, that's where my hotliner. I think with some people, you just cannot talk. I believe, and I might be wrong. I might be wrong, right? Some things cannot be talked about.